Welcome to my gumbo life. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. And I invite you to become a subscriber. If you are a returning member, you are welcome. And I sincerely thank you for returning. My name is Alice Walker Beecham. I am a mindset coach. I help people move from an emotional basement to their penthouse of purpose. On this channel, I have conversation with black women over 60 to about how we can create healing through self-care and create abundance to live the second half, which is the best half of our lives. Come on in, y'all, and let's start the conversation. Today, I am talking about part three of our 30-day hiatus, self-care hiatus. Now, you will notice as you watch more of my videos, I will go step by step. So, to kind of refresh what we have already talked about. Let's talk about what, let's discuss what we talked about in the first video. The first video, I introduced to you the idea of taking 30 days just for you to go away and take care of yourself at least once a year. I also back that up by saying you're worthy. Out of 365 days in the year, you take 30 days to take care of you. We take care of so many other people. We deserve 30 days a year. Then we move to part two. Part two, I kind of backtracked a little bit because I thought about it. Everybody really can't take 30 days. Some of us are lucky to be able to do that at this time in our lives, but everybody can't do that right now. So, the thing that I did ask you to commit to yourself about was to take at least one week a year. Take at least one week where you are taking care of nobody but you where you are loving on no one but you. Guys, we can't love people and take care of people that we love the way we want to if we have poured everything in us out. I also introduce you to the perfect accountability partner. And that accountability partner was yourself. I is yourself. The accountability partner, the person that have been with you all your life, the person that feel your hurts, see your pains, the person that will never leave you. And once you stand in front of that mirror and look that person in the eye and you say, I'm going to love you. I'm going to take care of you. At least one week a year, until I'm able to do 30 days a year. But at least one week a year, I am going to take care of you. Every time you go back to the mirror, every time you pass a mirror, your accountability partner is there. She doesn't jerk you. She doesn't get angry with you. She doesn't tell you secrets. She's just there waiting, waiting for you to take care of you. So we talked about the perfect accountability partner. We also talked about a flat line breath. We get so overwhelmed and so busy and we have so many responsibilities that we forget to take a flatline breath. And I told you what I call a flatline breath. 
if you think of when you're watching TV and there's someone and they have went into cardiac arrest and they're pumping and pumping and pumping on their chest and finally they go <gasps> and they take that breath. That's a flat line breath. Ladies, sisters, this is where we are. We have to take that flat line breath. Take that one week and do that flat line breath. Take a flat line breath for you. Your accountability partner is there with you, waiting on you. So now we're moving to part three. Part three, I told you, I was going to tell you about some ways that maybe if you don't have the finance, that you can start saving up. Some things you can start doing. So you can, in 2024, take that whole 30-day self-care hiatus that you deserve. Okay, some of the things that I thought about, and this is what happened, this is how I became financially stable. Because at 50, I was, my finance wasn't going to work with, it wasn't working, well, I wasn't working with it. Let me just be truthful. I hadn't been working with it. But there was a lots of things and skills and crafts that I had. And if you can look at what you have, usually you can make, money with you can turn it into uh you can monetize it let me say it that way you can monetize it so i've always done crafts and i've always uh wrote and i've always loved to cook and things like that now i learned this skill from my mom growing up i didn't even realize i was learning it but my mom used to cook. She was a great cook. And she would bake cakes. She would do pies. She would do things like that and sell them. I didn't realize that she was being, I guess, an early entrepreneur. But she did. She would sell for people. And she would do those type things. Now, lots of us have went into offices and we have worked. And we have skills. Maybe you're good at PowerPoint. There's people that need someone to help them with PowerPoint. Maybe you're good at Word, a uh, typing. There are people who need someone to help them with typing. One of the things that I did think about that you might want to look into is becoming a notary. It doesn't require a lots of training. You can set your own hours. And in some cases, you might make $300 a day. Now, I'm going to leave that link in uh, the description so that you can check into it. Another link that I will leave in the description is for remote jobs. The main thing I want you to get is that there are so many skills we as women have, especially by the time we're 60 years old. And what we call those skills, oh, that's just something I do. Oh, that's nothing. That's just something I do. There's somebody will pay you for just something you do. So those are the skills. I'm not telling you to go back to work or go out. No, no. Well, I know I don't. I don't want a job where I can't, cons uh, I'm not in control of my own schedule. I had that for 31 years. I had that where they said, be at work this time and you can't leave to that time. I don't want that anymore. And I don't want that for you. If you have retired, think of 
that's just something I do that you do really well and think of how you can monetize it. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do on this, uh, except I, I do want to really, really encourage you again, write down that you're the date for this year that you're going <clears throat> that you're going to take your one week if not 30 day self care hiatus write it down put it on your mirror if somebody else walk by your mirror and they say what is this tell them what it is put it into the atmosphere speak it if you can't speak it, you will never do it. Now, talking the last thing I want to talk to you about is starting next week on the 27th at 8 o'clock in the morning, I will start doing a four-week series, which will be totally free. It's a mini-series on moving from the basement. Because ladies, like I said, most of the things that we need to create external income, external happiness, external beauty, is already inside of us. If we can heal ourselves from the inside, the world will make space for us for us to turn that healing into resources. And a quick example of that, once I heal from the inside, I start seeing, hey, I can share this story with other people. There are people... <coughs> Excuse me. There are people at the beginning of the basement kind of walking around in it when I have just walked out of it. If I can share that story and show your journey, then you can move faster than I did. There have been people that shared their story with me and showed my journey. But for the most part, I kind of struggled. But nevertheless, I want you, I invite you to start Monday morning, 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Central Time. You are invited. You're welcome to come and join me as we start, I start helping you to decipher this book, Moving from the Basement. I'll leave the link to the book just in case you want to uh in case you want to get a copy so you can follow along. Uh, it's on Amazon, Moving from the Basement, AW Beecham. And also the only thing you will need to bring is a pencil, paper, and maybe a clinic. Because it might get deep. So that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to go do a recap of part one, part two, and do part three of how to create a 30-day self-care hiatus. Why would you do that? Because you are worth it. Until next time. I will talk to you. Be blessed and be well. Bye.